Oh. Sorry about that, but <laughs> you caught me eating the snacks before the before we got going. Tell you what, I got caught. I'm sorry, but hi, how y'all doing? Let's see. I had a good week out there? Yes. I know we had a good week out here. We We've been doing pretty good. We really have. We've we've stayed away from that virus. We're we're healthy. Everybody's doing good. How about you? Is everybody here? Hang on, man. Okay. Let's see. Cephas, Noah, Levi, Lincoln. There you are. Okay. I want to make sure everybody was here. I didn't want to. Didn't want to leave anybody out. Oh, we got snacks. You can have them a little bit later. I, I kind of jumped the gun. I'm sorry about that, guys. But uh, <clears throat> we've been having pretty good here. But I wonder how uh, Cubby Bear's been doing. You know, he's been looking for his family, and he's been, you know, talking with other people. Let's see how Cubby's doing. Let's let's call him up here. All right, ready? On the count of three. Here we go. One, two, three. Hey, Cubby. Hello, everybody. Hey, Cubby. <clears throat> bye, bye, hi, Cubby. Uh, Cubby, what, what, you seem to be kind of excited there. Lovey, I don't see, let's just get Lovey in the picture here. Yes, we've been looking for our best guests. Your best gift? Uh, what for? No, they're not for us. We're giving the gifts to two children. Timothy said the children don't have many nice gifts. He thought we should try and give them something that's our very best. Well, I'm sure the kids will really like that. Uh, Lovey, what are you giving the children? Well, I'm looking around at the petting zoo for a gift, and then I remembered how much I like flowers. So I skipped over to Lamb's Meadow, and I picked these pretty flowers. I hope the kids like it. Well, that sounds like that's a nice gift. Well, Cubby, what are you going to give the children? Well, uh, I, I'm not sure yet. I thought I might give them a honey bottle. Uh, huh. A honey Where's, bottle. Where's, hi, boys and girls. I, hi, Cubby Bear. Are you talking about giving kids... That half-empty bottle of honey. Yes, I, I was hungry, so I ate the honey. But the kids can put the bottle on the shelf. I mean, there's still a little bit in there. The, the bottle kind of sort of looks like me. <laughs> Cubby, are you sure that's your best gift? Um, no, probably not. Well, Katie, what are you going to be giving the children as a gift? I'm going to give them my favorite ball. Is that this one here? Yes. It, you can throw it really, really far. <clears throat> well, that's kind. That's very kind of you to give your favorite ball, Katie. Uh, hey, Katie, I have an idea. <clears throat> you know what? I have this full ball of honey from my for my snack, but, and I was going to save it and eat it later, but I, I think I want to give it to the kids. Well, Cubby, that is a great idea. That's sharing with people. That's giving the best of your best. Why don't you do go on and bring your gifts to Timothy? He's putting all the gifts in a box for the children right now. Okay. Bye, boys and girls. Bye-bye, Cubby. Bye, Katie. They're going to be giving gifts to people. The gifts that are coming out of their heart, things that they feel, things that they like, they enjoy, they know that other people are going to enjoy them too. And that's one of the things that uh, we need to be talking, we're going to be talking about today, <clears throat> is that uh, how it is that you share things, because somebody has given us the best gift of all. Can you guess who that might be? That's right. God has given us the best gift of all. I want you to look at this. This comes out of Chronicles, out of your Bible. Now, we know the Bible is true. 
because God said it was true. It's a true word of God, okay? God breathed, people wrote it down, and it's true today. God's word's always true. Well, we're in Chronicles today. <coughs> Part of the lesson's going to be out of Chronicles. Here's a group of people called the Israelites. <clears throat> the, Bob, the Bible tells us that there's a time when they decided to give their best gifts to a very important person. Can you guess? Of course, you know who that person is. The best gifts were given to God. The Israelites were God's favorite people, and God had given them a special land to live in called Canaan. One day God said it was time to build a big, beautiful temple or a church in the land where they would go to worship. Well, the Israelites were excited to bring their gifts and decorate the temple and make it beautiful, but and uh, some brought the gold, some brought silver, others brought precious, shiny, colorful jewels. The people had so many gifts to give God because he'd given them so much. Well, after many years of hard work, <clears throat> all these people, the Israelites, built this temple. Isn't that a beautiful temple? That's a place where they can go and worship God. Now, God doesn't live there, but God wants the people to come and worship him together. That's why they call it corporate worship. They call it worshiping together. And that's what God wants us to do, is to get together and to worship. And they built this big, beautiful building where they could all go and worship. <clears throat> and inside the building, you see, whoops, sorry about that. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? They go in there and they worship. The Israelites came in and worshiped God in there. King Solomon went in, gave an offering, sat down, raised his hands, and prayed to God, thanking him for all that he'd given us, given the people, and he'd given everybody because of the gifts that he had given us. Oh, it was so beautiful. But remember, oh, also, it was all people would bow down and worship. You see in here where they're bowing down and they're worshiping? They're worshiping God? They're on their knees, aren't they? Well, that's because it's what they want to do. Is you don't stand... <clears throat> they don't stand before God. <clears throat> they kneel before God. Anytime God's in their presence, they kneel down. And so that's what Solomon did, and that's what all the other people did. Because remember, there's only help. There's what? One true God. And the God even said in the Bible that he is the only true God. If we'll turn over to Matthew, let me get my Bible here. Hang on a second. If you've got your Bible, turn over to Matthew 4. 10, God says, worship the Lord your God and serve him only. Okay? Worship the Lord your God and serve him only. Can you all say that with me? <clears throat> worship the Lord your God and serve him only. One more time. Worship the Lord your God and serve him only. Oh, that's so true, because God said that's what we need to do, just like the Israelites did. God is awesome. There's no one like God. Uh, you see what they're doing here? If I can get it here. Here we are. What are these children doing? God is the only true God. What are they doing? They're reading the Bible, praising God. They're singing songs, praising God. And they're giving an offering in church to God. Isn't that neat? God is so good and so beautiful. We, we do worship him because we love him. Because without God, we'd, we'd be nowhere. Okay? Let's go ahead and worship God right now in a uh, prayer, okay? Heavenly Father, Lord God, thank you for giving us everything we have. Giving us a house, a roof over our heads, 
uh, giving us toys to play with, giving us friends that we can go and have fun with. <clears throat> Most of all, Lord, thank you for giving of yourself. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, I guess you know about the snacks already since, well, gosh, I already had mine. But we got a few crafts in there that you can mess, mess around with. You know, here's one you can color. Ooh, there, come on, here it is, right? There it is. You see the temple? You can make that as pretty as you want, whatever color you want. But there's the temple. Isn't that gorgeous? And some of the things that the Israelites did is they worshiped with musical instruments like we do in church. You know, we have the piano, the drums, voices where people are singing. Well, one of the instruments that they uh, worship with was called a lyre, L-Y-R-E, a lyre, which is a stringed instrument. It looks like this. And what you can do is you can make a lyre and use it with its strings. Okay, I don't sing too good. But look at the, you can use the ribbons and you can make stringed instrument. Well, that's some things that you can do in your, uh, in your uh, cubby packet that we have out for you today. Well, guys, I hope y'all have had some fun, and I know the whole, I know you've learned some stuff, so why don't we just go ahead and uh, give a short prayer to God and praise Him, and we'll see you next time, okay? Hang on. Lord Jesus, thank you for these guys who want to watch and who want to learn. Thank you, Lord, that they have respect for you. And these things we ask that you bring us back safely next time. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, guys, I hope you all had fun today. And it's a pretty good story. Let's just wait and see how uh, Cubby does on giving away his full bottle of honey. He couldn't do that, a half a bottle. But let's see what he does on a full bottle of honey, okay? Hey, see you next time. Bye-bye.